DES 2022 Media Highlight Everything we see, from Galaxy S21 FE to Alienware's Concept Nick. Although the world's biggest tech show won't officially open until Tuesday, the media day of 2022 CES was jam-packed full of announcements. Several big companies, including Samsung and Dell, announced their latest products and services. Samsung unveiled the Galaxy S21 FE after a long delay. Alienware debuted its concept Nix game streaming server, and OnePlus used CES 2022 to reveal its latest flagship, the OnePlus 10 Pro. This year's CES officially runs from January 5th to 7th. Hey race a recap of all the highlights from the Monday of CES 2022. Samsung's first big smartphone of 2022 isn't the Galaxy S22, but the Galaxy S21 FE. The long-delayed Galaxy S21 FE is essentially a stripped-down version of the flagship Galaxy S21 with a few trade-offs. The affordable flagship features a 6.4-inch 120Hz display, a Snapdragon 888 chipset, and a lower price, $699 for the 128GB base model. The phone goes on sale in select countries next week. The Galaxy S21 FE joins Samsung's crowded smartphone lineup. The question really is, who is the target audience for the Galaxy S21 FE? The S21 FE sits between the regular Galaxy S21 and Galaxy A52. The OnePlus 9 Pro is passé. Enter OnePlus 10 Pro. OnePlus is using the week of CES 2022 to announce its first mega flagship of the year. Although the phone has no pricing or specs, the company did share a picture of the device. It's exactly what rumors have suggested. The high-end smartphone is rumored to include a 6.7-inch QHD plus display with a 120Hz refresh rate, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 CPU, 12GB of RAM, support for 5G networks, and a 5000 mAh battery. As for cameras, the phone is expected to come with a 48MP primary shooter to go with a 50MP ultra-wide-angle and 8MP telephoto. The OnePlus 10 Pro will run on a new unified operating system that combines its Android-based Oxygen OS with Oppo's ColorOS. OnePlus plans to launch its latest flagship in China on January 11. Imagine what the future of gaming could be with Concept Nick. Hashtag CES 2022. Explore your favorite games across any device in your home. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash scbvis scmd pic dot twitter dot com slash wvcdzxn2 lx. Alienware January 3rd 2022. HTTPS colon slash slash platform dot twitter dot com slash widgets dot js. Dell's Alienware brand has been showing concept devices at CES, and this year is no different. Concept Nix joins a long list of concept devices coming from Dell Staple at CES 2022, which is essentially an at-home server that can stream games throughout the home. The idea behind the product is to let users stream multiple games to multiple devices at once, regardless of the hardware they're playing on. For now, Alienware's concept Nix is just a prototype at the moment, and the brand has not yet to bring the device to the mass market. L'Oreal has become a yearly name at CES, and 2022 is no different. This time, they are showcasing Color Sonic, a device that resembles a hair straightener, but is actually aimed at letting you apply hair color evenly and without the mess that the process usually entails. The Color Sonic will deliver consistent hair color results, claims the company, and the device will officially be released in 2023. The Color Sonic will let users choose from over 40 shades, and with the touch of a button, the device is ready to go for hair color application. It has hair brush like bristles on the top, which deliver the color and it relies on a color cartridge to mix and create the hair color. Based on the video that L'Oreal's has shared, applying hair color is as easy as combing your hair. One just has to wash the hair after the process, and their new color will shine through. We don't know how much this device will cost when it actually hit the market, but it might just change how we color hair at home, if it actually works as smoothly as it does in the demo video. Jabra has used CES 2022 to introduce its $119 Elite 4 Active, a set of waterproof, active noise-canceling earbuds. They offer a secure and comfortable fit without the need for hooks or wingtips. The earbuds have an IP57 rating, a transparency mode that lets you bring the outside world in, 
and support for both AAC and aptX Bluetooth codec. Jabber claims 7 hours per charge in the earbuds, with a total of 28 hours when you include the charging case. They are already available in select markets, in navy, black and light mint. A backpack with a built-in location tracker? Well, Targus is making one and it uses Apple's Find My Technology. The $149 Cypress Hero backpack has a built-in location tracker that could help the owner find the bag through the Find My network if it goes missing. And if your iPhone is lost you can press a button in the backpack to ping your phone. The Cypress Hero comes with a replaceable battery that's chargeable via USB. The smart bag will be available sometime in spring summer 2022. Introducing Body Scan, the revolutionary connected health station that provides never-before-seen metrics on a scale. Learn more https colon slash slash t dot co slash 9 kbvf ptzci hashtag ces 2022 pic dot twitter dot com slash vyk 4 sdk opq within zn january 4th 2022 https colon slash slash platform dot twitter dot com slash widgets dot js the withings body scan a new smart scale announced by the company at ces 2022 is way more capable. The body scan will do all the basic things it's supposed to do, but it will take six lead ECG readings each time you weigh in. It has 14 electrodes on the base and another four in a retractable handle. In addition, the body scan will now break out your torso, arms and legs and display their specific composition in the companion app. Withings said it plans to launch the body scan scale in the second half of 2022 following FDA clearance. It will be priced at $299.95. LG is showing off two new concept devices at CES 2022, and one of them is the media chair. It is basically pitched as a modern relaxation device, which features a curved 55-inch OLED display with a recliner to form an entertainment pod of sorts. The curved display vibrates to produce audio without the need for external speakers. A button on the recliner arm allows the user to switch the OLED panel from vertical and horizontal orientations, allowing users to watch a movie with comfort. The OLED display uses tens of millions of self-emitting self-emitting pixels. Samsung is making a remote that can be charged via radio waves from your router. Its new Eco Remote remote draws power from radio waves emitted by Wi-Fi routers to keep itself charged. It has a USB-C port as a backup. The remote is environment-friendly and uses recycled materials. Samsung plans to ship the remote later this year.